work with the multi-world plugin for your servers. Yeah. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to do that exactly. So you want to be in this website, devbucket.org, server mods. You want to come to the search bar, right? Multi world. Now I'm focusing on this plugin specifically because it's really useful and it's a pretty good plugin, honestly. So if you guys do run a server, I really recommend this plugin. So you want to go to this link right here. I'll focus in these commands in game, okay? I'm not going to look at them right now. But you go to download. Download. And it will download you a jar file. So once it does that, let's see, let's see, let's see. Download it, and I'm going to drag it right here. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. Now it should be here, too. Yep, it is. And this is my server tab, by the way. I have open, which was in the server right there. So, plugins. What I want to do is that you open the plugins folder. I'm going to erase this old dot jar. But what you want to do is that you simply get this jar and drag it in your plugins folder. You will not have this folder until you reload your server if it's running currently. If not, you just start it. So you drag the plugin in, and you'll only have this file unless you have other plugins. So you close, not you, go back, start the server, and it should come up. A new tab should come up. Well, not tab. A new thing should come up saying "Multi World has been activated" or something. So we're gonna look at that right here. I'll zoom in when it comes up, and I'll make sure I scroll down specifically. So give it a second to start because I'm running. I'm recording and then trying to run a server. So let's see. Hmm. It's not starting. Try this again. There we go. Okay, I got scared for a second. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. It's going pretty slowly, but it'll get there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Implementing, implementing. While loading multi world, old data, that won't come up because I have old data that I've been using for multi world. See, right here. Wait, let me find it. Here it is. Multi world. Loading multi world. And then more multi world stuff will come up. So while that's going on, I'm going to close this right here. And go ahead and go inside my server. So I'll be right back with you guys. Right, there we go. Okay, so now I am in the server. Sorry if it gets a little laggy, it's because, well, I don't really know. Actually, I'm running Minecraft, a server, and I'm recording all at the same time. And I only have a laptop, so that's actually pretty powerful that I'm not just exploding. So, now, we will never seen that before. Okay, so now, to create the multi, to create the worlds, you want to go to NW, create, name, gen, which is generation, like I'll explain that in a second. What? Oh, what? Um, name, gen, and seed. So, what the heck? I really don't know what's happening with that list. So now, I have these couple worlds. Let me unload one of them so I can show you guys an example. I'm gonna unload example to be an example. So MW unload example, and then it will unload this world. I'm try it again. MW unload exam. What the? He's having some trouble unloading. I'm lagging out. All right, so I'm disconnecting. Now, I don't know what's happening, but. 
Give me a, give me a second. Thanks for waiting, guys. But mm, let's see what's happening. Well, file not found. What? Okay. Reload it. Okay. So everything's looking good. Yep. It looks perfect. Now the last part. Done. Okay. Refresh. Might have better connection. Might not. I hope. So let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a bit better. Okay. So MW list. See your current worlds. I don't. Why is that backspace doing so much damage? Yeah. Okay. So MW create example, and I want the example world to be a normal world with a seed of one eight three six. So let's go to create the world. I am going to leave the server because it will lag me out because I'm running a server recording in Minecraft. So I'm gonna leave. When I come back, she'll be done creating. Give me a sec, I'll be right back. Alright, so the example world has been creative cre creative created and my friend has joined the game. So let me tell him that I'm recording. Don't talk. So as I can tell it's lagging out. But yeah, whatever. So oh, wait, how can he talk? He can only type. Okay. So I left off at example, right? So now MW list example my bad it's MW list now I go MW go to example boom I'm in the new world so that was just an example uh, let's see what I did there on how to use this he has the IP MW unload example W go to flat. As you can tell, this flat land that I have here is pretty useful, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make it, which I think is pretty cool. So MW create no 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 MW list gens. So the generators. So we can make a normal world, a nether world, a flat land, the end, a pixel art room, not that useful. Planets is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be covering planets, solar system, nether and end because nether and end are pretty self-explanatory. I will be covering flatland though because I already have it in the video showing. So yeah, MW create flat. No 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 no. Create flat land. The seed won't matter for the flatland. Wait, what did I do? MW creates. Oh, I see what I, I see. What happened? Flat. Two, no, no, no. Flat two. Flat land. Yeah. So now it's creating the new world. Flat land two. No, flat two. As a flat land. So I think that's pretty cool. So it's being created. MW go to flat. No. Go to flat two. And as you can see, we generated a very simple flatland. And the coordinates, we are 74 blocks above bedrock, which in super flat is very different. So you can actually make houses in mine here, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it didn't get a little too overcomplicated or it wasn't missing that much detail. If it was, please leave questions in the comments below. I will be I will eventually answer them. And I always like it when you guys like review like a good tutorial or you can improve on this or you can leave a like. You can tell me if you like the video and why. A bunch of stuff. Like I really like it when you guys talk back and give me feedback because I think that it makes me a better commentator by doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Wait. I always forget my outro. Yeah, I'll just catch you guys later. MW go to
front. So if you guys want any more actually any more um, in depth about this, please like I said leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching YouTube. Catch you guys later. Wait, not under. Okay, one more time. Thanks for watching YouTube. Catch you guys later. Was that it?